welcome all my students to your maths online class and uh, student you must have remember that in my last lecture i have given you explanation about divisibility rules and in which i have explained you the divisibility of uh, 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 11 12 15 18 and 25 and after the explanation i have given you one assignment in which I have given you two questions to be solved related to the divisibility of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 and 25 in which I have told you to write down yes and no in the table and under the table you have to uh, write down your working note. So, here is the complete answer key for you all which you can see in your today's PDF. But uh, here I am solving it so you can check your answers that you have done it correctly or not. So basically I am preparing one working note for you all ok. So just pay attention I have given you these two questions uh, so simultaneously I am solving it just go through it. The first part I have given you uh, 9 lakh 80, 9 crore 82 lakh 1900 and the second part I have given you 8 crore 43 lakhs 12,098. So, we will start by the divisibility of 2 firstly. So, what I have told you in 2? I have told you that if the number 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 comes at the last that means that number comes in the table of 2 otherwise it does not come. So, right now you can see that digit 0 is here, digit 0 is here at the last and in this second part digit 8 is there on the last place, ones place. So, yes it is divisible by 2 in both the parts. So, it is divisible by 2. So, you have to write yes, yes. Here I have done the working note also. Then by the divisibility of 3, what I told you to check the divisibility of 3, we have to add all the numbers firstly. So, 9 plus 8 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9 plus 0 plus 0. After adding you will get the result here as 29. So, uh, does this 29 comes in the table of 3? Does it is divisible by 3? No, 29 does not comes in the table of 3. That means this number is not divisible by 3. So, in the table you have to write no. Okay. Then similarly the second example is uh, 8 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 9 plus 8. After adding all the numbers you will get the result as 35. So, 35 comes in the table of 3. No, it does not come because the addition of 35 3 plus 5 is equals to 8. So, 8 does not comes in the table of 3. That means this number also does not comes in the table of 3. It, it comes in the table of 2, both the parts comes in the table of 2 and both the parts does not come in the table of 3. So, no in the case of 3 in both the parts. Then the divisibility of 4. In divisibility of 4, I told you that the last number, either the last number should be double 0 or the last number should be divisible by 4. So, here you can see in first part it is double 0. So, directly you can write here yes because the last two digits are double 0. So, yes it is divisible by 4 and here in the second part it is 98. Okay. So, when you will divide this 98 by 4, so 4 to the 8, 1 remainder, then this 8 down, then 4 into 4 is equals to 16. So, 2 is the remainder here, it is not divided fully. Therefore, the first part is divisible, yes, and the second part is not divisible by 4. So, you can see in the table what I have written for 4 yes in this part and no in this part. Working note here it is 2 0 so directly yes and 98 divided by 4 is not possible therefore it is no. Then the next divisibility is the divisibility of 5. So for the divisibility of 5 what I have told you that there should be digit 0 or 5 at the last then it is divisible otherwise it is not divisible. So in first part you can see that the last digit is 0 so yes first part is divisible by 5. Then in the second part the last digit is 8. It is not 0 and 5. So, that means this part is not divisible by 
5 ok so you can see that's what i have written yes first part and the second part is no you can check it in working note also then in the divisibility of 6 what i have told you if the number comes in the table of 2 if it comes in the table of 3 also then only it will come in the table of 6 so here you can see this first number yes it comes in the table of 2 but it doesn't comes in the table of 3 that means it will not come in the table of 6 also there should be yes in both the uh, tables 2 and 3 then only it will come yes in the table of 6 also okay student similarly in second example you can see this number comes in the table of 2 but it doesn't comes in the table of 3 that means it will not come in the table of 6 also here in the working note you can see I have written in the table of 2 yes it comes in the table of 3 no it doesn't come so in the table of 6 also it will not come similarly this part in the table of 2 yes it comes in the table of 3 no it doesn't come so in the table of 6 also it will not come okay then after 6 we have to check it by the table of 8 in the working note firstly I have given the solution of 9 by mistake 8 you can find it here so when you will copy it firstly you write down 8 after 6 and then you write down 9 okay student so by the uh, divisibility of 8 what I have told you for checking any number the divisibility of 8 we have to see the last three numbers that it is divisible by 8 or not so here you can see the last three numbers are 900 and here the last three numbers are 098 so for it we have to divide these last three number by 8 that it comes in the table of 8 or not so see student 8 1s are 8 9 minus 8 is 1 bring this 0 down so 8 again 1s are 8 10 minus 8 is 2 bring this last 0 down 20 so the smaller number than 20 in the table of 8 is 16 it comes 2 times so 8 2 is a 16 so you can see that 4 is remainder 0 is not remainder that means this particular number is not divisible by 8 and uh, similarly in this part the last 3 digits are 0 9 8 so divided by 8 first number is 0 so we will start with the second number so 8 1s are 8 9 minus 8 will give you 1 bring this 8 down so 8 2 is a 16 2 remainder here also number 2 is remainder here number 4 is remainder 0 is not the remainder that means both the numbers are not divisible by the table of 8 so you can see I have written no no both the side here in the working note I have mentioned 900 divided by 8 not possible so no and 098 divided by 8 is again not possible so no after 8 we have to check the divisibility of 9 and as I told you the divisibility of 9 is exactly same as the divisibility of 3 that means we have to add all the numbers and then we have to check that the result comes in the table of 9 or not so after adding all the numbers here we got 29 and in second part after adding we get, uh, got what 35 this I have done when I check the divisibility of 9 so same we have to do in the uh, when I've checked in the divisibility of 3 and same we have to do with the divisibility of 9 so here the result is 29 and you know 29 doesn't comes in the table of 9 in a part then in b part the result is 35 again 35 doesn't comes in the table of 9 so both the numbers are not divisible by 9 you can see in the table I have written here also no no see the working note adding all the numbers 29 so no adding all the numbers 35 so no then for checking the divisibility of 10 what I have told you that the last number should be 0 then it is divisible otherwise it is not divisible so in first part you can see the last digit is 0 so yes it is divisible by 10 and here the last digit is 8 so no it is not divisible by 10 okay then the divisibility of 11 and for the divisibility of 11 what I have told you 
that first of all we have to put the odd even concept so firstly write down 9 8 2 0 1 9 double 0 like this so odd even odd even odd even odd even firstly mark the odd even then separate all the odd numbers and the even numbers okay so odd here is firstly 0 plus 9 plus 0 plus 8 so these all are the odd numbers 0 9 0 8 okay wherever i have put underline these are the odd numbers so remaining are the even so even we will be writing in even column so 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 9 okay now we have to add it so 9 plus 8 will give you what it will give you 17 and here 9 plus 1 10 plus 2 will give you what it will give you 12 so subtract it firstly we have to uh, separate odd and even then we have to add it and after adding we have to subtract the a uh, smaller number will be subtracted from the bigger number see it will happens then that, that sometimes odd the result of odd places will come greater and sometimes it will happen that the result of even places will come greater so it is not like that always we have to subtract odd minus even no it can be even minus odd also so whichever number is greater from that you have to subtract the smaller number so right now the result of odd place is greater 17 and the result of even place is smaller 12 so we will subtract odd minus even so 17 minus 12 will give you what it will give you 5 okay so 5 doesn't come in the table of 11 after subtracting i told you the result should come either 0 or the multiples of 11 like 11 22 33 44 so here we have got number 5 and 5 doesn't comes in the table of 11 so yes this first number is not divisible by 11 similarly we will check the second number 8 4 3 1 2 0 9 8 this is our number so put the places odd even odd even odd even odd even odd even now subtract the odd places and the even places so student when you will subtract the odd and even places first of all i am underlining the odd places so that you can easily uh, separate it so it will be 8 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4 and here in even places it is 9 plus 2 plus 3 plus 8 okay so when you will add these odd places you will get 8 plus 1 9 plus 4 is equals to 13 and when you will add the even places what you will get 8 plus 2 10 plus 9 19 plus 3 is equals to 22 here you can see the result of even is greater and odd is smaller so we will not do odd minus even here we will do even minus odd even minus odd because from 13 we cannot subtract 22 but from 22 we can subtract 13 so here what we have done here we have done odd minus even because the result of odd was greater now when you will do even minus odd that means 22 minus 13 you will get result as 9 so see 9 is not divisible by 11 that means 9 doesn't comes in the table of 11 that means this particular number is also not divisible by 9 so you can sorry not divisible by 11 so uh, here you can see i have directly i have not done the complete solution here i have only written the result of odd places was 17 and the result of even places was 12 so 17 minus 12 5 that means it is not divisible by 11 and here the result of even places is 22 and the result of odd places is 13 so 22 minus 13 is equals to 9 so that's what that was all about the divisibility of 11 so no will come in both the parts then the divisibility of 12 it is easy as i told you if the number comes in the table of 3 and it also comes in the table of 4 then only it will come in the table of 12 so here in first example you can see that this particular number 
uh, doesn't comes in the table of 3 but it comes in the table of 4. So, no it will not come in the table of 12 also because there should be a yes in both the tables then only yes will come here and in the second part also you can see this number does not come in the table of 3, it does not come in the table of 4. So, yes it will not come in the table of 12 also. Here in working note in the table of 3 no, in the table of 4 yes, so in the table of 12 no. Here in second example table of 3 no, table of 4 no, so in the table of 12 also it will be no. Similarly, in the uh, divisibility of 15 I told you if the number comes in the table of 3 it comes in the table of 5 then only it will come in the table of 15. So, here you can see that uh, the first example it does not come in the table of 3 but it comes in the table of 5. So, it will not come in the table of 15 and in the second example it does not come in the table of 3, it does not come in the table of 5. So, yes it will not come in the table of 15 also. Ok student and the last uh, divisibility uh, was of 25. So, we have to check these two numbers comes in the table of 25 or not. So, what I have told you the divisibility of 25 is same as the divisibility of 4. There should be either two zeros at the last, there should be either two zeros at the last or the last two digits should be divisible by 25. So, in the first example you can see that the last two digits are 0. So, directly you have to write here yes because the last two digits are 0. So, the given number is divisible by 25. But here the last two digits in uh, second part the last two digits are not 0 it is 98. So, we have to divide these last two digits by 25 to check that it is divisible by 25 or not. So, here you have to divide this 98 by 25. So, 25 1's are 25, 25 2's are 50 and 25 3's are is equals to 75. So, we will take 25 3 times 75 here. So, 8 minus 5 will give you 3 and 9 minus 7 will give you 2. So, see student 23 is the remainder not 0 is the remainder that means this number is not divisible by 25 but the first number first part is divisible by 25. In the working note you can see double 0. So, yes it is divisible and second part 98 divided by 25 is not possible. So, it is no. Okay. So, now I hope again I have given the revision of all the divisibility. So, this topic must be clear to your to you all. So, now today I will move on with the same topic divisibility rules and uh, uh, you must remember that on that day in my previous lecture I have not given you the divisibility of 7. So, today I am giving you the divisibility of 7 that how to check any number is divisible by 7 or not. This uh, rule I have given you in the previous PDF also the rule is to check the divisibility of 7 take the last digit of the number. First of all whatever number is given in the question we have to take its last digit then we have to double it. Double it means you have to multiply the last digit by 2 and subtract it from the remaining number and the whatever result we will get after multiplying the last digit by 2 that result we have to subtract from the remaining number. If the answer obtained is 0 or a number divisible by 7 if the answer what we get is either 0 or it comes in the table of 7 then the original number is divisible by 7 then the given number in the question is divisible by 7 otherwise not. The process can be continued till we reach a smaller number and like this we continue the process till we reach the final value ok. See by language you must be finding it difficult but when I will explain you with an example then you will find it easy see how like I have taken here the same example only with which I have explained you all these numbers. I have explained uh, these all divisibility rules in my previous video where I have left the divisibility of 7. So, with those two example only I am explaining you that this number uh, comes in the table of 7 or not. So, the first example was 2145789. See student 
how to check it that this number comes in the table of 7 or not pay attention carefully first of all we have to what i have told that we have to take the last digit of the given number so our number is 21457809 Nine. So here the last digit you can see is nine. So first of all you have to take this nine and multiply it by two. This is your step one. So when you multiply nine and two, you will get result as eighteen. Okay, student. So this eighteen will be subtracted from the remaining number. Now you don't have to include this number nine. You have to take the number remaining number two one four five seven eight zero. this number you have to take don't take the last number and from this number you have to subtract the result of last number multiplied by 2 so that was 18 so 2145780 minus 18 so uh, minus it subtract it so when you will subtract 18 from this number what you will get you will get 2145762 subtraction you can do yourself because you already know how to subtract any number now this is our new number now from this new number we will again take the last digit that is 2 again we will double this 2 so 2 into 2 now this 2 into 2 will give you 4 now from here our step 2 will begin step 2 okay now from the remaining number we will subtract this 4 so what is our remaining number now our remaining number is 2 1 4 5 7 6 don't take the last digit and the remaining will be your remaining number now from this we have to subtract the result of last digit multiply by 2 that means 4 okay so from this when you will subtract 4 what you will get the result you will get 2 1 4 5 7 okay student now from again this last digit we will take 2 and again we will double it so 2 multiply by 2 so 2 multiply by 2 will give you what it will give you 4 okay now we will start here our next step step 3 so subtract from the remaining the remaining is 2 1 4 5 7 now we will not include this 2 so 2 1 4 5 7 minus this 4 okay so when you will subtract it what you will get yes you will get 2 1 4 5 3 okay again take the last a digit and then double it 3 into 2 now 3 into 2 will give you what it will give you 6 from here we will start our step 4 now take the remaining so the remaining is 2 1 4 5 from this remaining we will subtract the uh, numbers Uh, multiplicative numbers of the previous step so this will be 6 now 2 1 4 5 minus 6 it will give you what it will give you 2 1 3 9 okay you are getting it means step by step you have to take the last digit and multiply it by 2 double it and then subtract it from the remaining numbers the same process you have to continue till you reach the smaller number now from here again we will take the last digit so now our last digit is 9 into 9 and it will be double so 9 into 2 is equals to 18 now we have to do our next step so we will continue doing our next step so after step 4 we will be starting our step 5 in this step 5 what we will do the remaining number is 213 okay so you have to write down 213 and from 213 you have to subtract this 18 so 213 minus 18 after subtracting you will get now 195 okay now again this last digit you have to take double it 5 into 2 is equals to 10 okay then in step 6 we have to again take the remaining so the remaining is 19 from this 19 we have to subtract the number 10 now 19 minus 10 is equals to 9 now finally we have come to the smaller number and you all know 9 doesn't comes in the table of 7 
So that means this particular number which we have taken is not divisible by, it is not divisible by 7. Got it student? I know the process is quite long but this is what is there related to the divisibility of 7. Take the last digit multiplied by 2 and then subtract it from the remaining number. So like this finally uh, you have got here 9. So this 9 is not divisible by 7. Okay student. So this was the first example and the second example which I have taken was 4500. So I am explaining this also 4500. Now we have to check that this is divisible by 7 or not. So we will start our step 1 where we will take 4500 and underline the last digit. Then multiply the last digit by 2. So 0 into 2 you know whenever we multiply any number by 0 we get 0 only. Now subtract this 0 from the remaining number. So 450 minus 0 will again give you 450. So from this 450 again you have to take the last digit and multiply it by 2 again. So 0 into 2 is equals to 0. From here we will start our step 2. So now from the remaining number we have to subtract 0. So 45 minus 0 will give you 45 only. Okay. Now from this 45 we have to take the last digit and multiply it by 2. So 5 into 2 uh, is equals to 10. Okay. So now this 10 we have to subtract it from the remaining number. So step 3. Now remaining number is only 5. So from uh, sorry remaining number is only 4. So from 4 we cannot subtract 10 right because 4 is the smaller number and 10 is the greater number. So it is understood that uh, here this number is also not divisible by 7. So both the numbers are not divisible by 7. So we will be putting cross here also. So this was all about the divisibility of 7. I hope you must have understood it because it is quite uh, difficult. That's why uh, you have not learnt about this uh, uh, divisibility rule in class 5th. So please go through it again and again then I am sure that you will understand how to solve it. Here uh, I will be giving you one more example of the divisibility of 7 that uh, uh, how any number is divisible by 7, how you can calculate it but that I will be giving you in the next class. Today you just focus on these two example and according to these two example I have given you today's assignment also in which you have to check the same numbers which I have given you in the previous assignment. You have to check these two numbers are divisible by 7 or not. So follow the step by step solution as I have explained you and find it out that these numbers are divisible by 7 or not. See I have written check the divisibility of 7 in the given numbers with proper steps. So try to solve it step by step, try to solve it in rough firstly and then in the next video I will explain you again step by step how to solve it and then you can check your solution of rough notebook and then finally you can copy it out in your uh, fair practice notebook. Okay student, so that's all for today. Now I will meet you back in the next online class in which first of all I will be giving you the solution of these two part and then I will continue with the new topic. Okay student, so till then take care of yourself and thank you for today.